to Colossians. A couple books past the book you in. Chapter number 2, verse number 9. Look at this. For in him, who's the him? Jesus. Dwelleth what? All the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That means in bodily form. And just in case you miss the exclusivity of this completeness, look what he says. And you are what? Complete in him. Yeah, you, you complete me, baby. You, you complete me. Can't no human being complete you. That's not, and you can't complete them. The only one that completes you is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. I feel the, I feel the presence of God. Look at verse number, look verse number 12. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him. He's talking about you now. He's talking about me. Wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God. Who's doing this? God did it. God did this. God raised you up by his own operation. It had nothing to do with your worthiness. It had nothing to do with you being acceptable in his eyes. He made you acceptable in his eyes. Oh, God. Look at this. Who hath raised him from the dead. And get this now. And you, being dead in your own sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened, the word quickened means made alive, together with him, having forgiven you how much trespass? All trespasses. Talked about who you are now. This is, the, this is the kind of stuff the devil don't want you to, to internalize. That's, that's what the psalmist meant when he said, I will meditate on thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. When you meditate on the word of God and you start thinking about this, you're saying, man, I must be good stuff. I must be special stuff. You are, son. You are, daughter. But don't get too heady now. Because I'm the one that did this. I'm the one that did it, and I did it for a reason, so that you will be an example. Watch this. You being, in verse 13, dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have you made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, get this now, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that were against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, look at this, nailing it to the cross, and if you don't like that, look how it just flows. It gets better and better. And having what? Spoiled principalities and power. You know, we want to know what principalities and powers that is? That's all the rulers of dark places. Hallelujah. All the demonic forces. Uh, he spoiled them all. And they had to sit by and watch them do it. They had no choice because they're constrained by the power of God having spoiled principalities and power. Not only that, but look what he did. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, you need to have the imagery of, of what this really meant. See, in the days of antiquity, when they would win a war, what they would do is they would take the king, the defeated king, and all of his entourage, and they will parade them in front of everybody and embarrass them. Why? Because they're making it clear without any shadow of a doubt, unequivocally, that you are a defeated foe. The devil is a defeated oh, Jesus. He's a defeated foe. And that's why he can't kill you. Did you hear what I said? Because if he could kill you, he would do so. But he's got to get permission. He's got to go before the throne. And see, can you see why he, he's, he's counting on your ignorance? Because the more you get knowledge and wisdom and understanding, he's got to go somewhere else. Because he can't keep tempting you when you know better. Did you hear what I said? Get, be, get thee behind me, Satan. Take your hands off of God's property. 
Satan. I ain't got no power, but he's got all power. All power. Uh, the devil, you want to know what Jesus said? I didn't say it. He said, all power and authority is given unto me. So he said, you go. He authorized me to go. I'm in cooperation with him. I'm in commission with him. I, I have a co cooperative mission with my Lord. And so if you want to deal with me, you got to go see my father. Huh? I didn't hear you, devil. You seem a little quiet now. Now, I know you're coming back for I know this is a season that you're out, but I got something for you when you come back. The same thing I got for you now. Because you know what? I got, I got a little wisdom now. I now know that I don't have no power of my own. I got to speak the power and authority of God. That's why I'm growing in him daily, daily, devil. By the way, take your hands off of my children in Jesus' name. Let's give him praise. Stand to your feet right now. Let's give him glory in this house right now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in this world. Hallelujah! I thank you, Lord, for your power. I can run through troops. I can leap over walls. I don't have any strength of my own. I depend on you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah.